Political losers in last year's general election became the biggest winners as President William Ruto unveiled the list of nominees to serve as chief administrative secretaries. Now, the president, departing from his predecessor's list of 23 and instead increasing the number to 50, raising public uproar over the cost implication of these nominations. Now, among those making the cut include politicians who are initially inclined to Azimio leader Raila Odinga and who switch camps to support President Ruto's bid. Chamutai Goen begins our broadcast this evening with that report. The process of recruitment of chief administrative secretaries faced many hurdles after LSK moved to court to challenge the legality of the positions. Mid-February, the court gave the president the green light to make the appointment. A host of politicians who lost in the last general election, getting a lifeline after being nominated to serve in various ministries. However, many questions have been raised over why President William Ruto nominated 50 individuals, yet during the creation of the positions, it was indicated that they would be 23 chief administrative secretaries. And in light of the current economic situation, more questions have been raised over the cost implications of remunerating the 50 nominees. Among those getting rewarded include loyalists of the president, including journalist Dennis Itumbi, set to serve in the ICT ministry, with some ministries set to have more than two chief administrative secretaries, Samuel Tunai, will serve in the interior ministry. Former Homa Bay gubernatorial aspirant Ivan Skidero, nominated to serve in the trade ministry. Former chief administrative secretary Entana River Governor Hussein Dado, once again recommended by the president, this time in the public service ministry. The list include former senators. Millicent Omanga proposed to serve in the interior ministry. Fred Ota in the mining industry. And Isaac Mwaura in the office of the prime cabinet secretary. Several MPs also making the cut, including Chris Wamalwa, Charles Njagwa, Wilson Sosion, Nicholas Gumbo, who unsuccessfully bid for the CIA gubernatorial seat, and Jackson Kiptanui, nominated to serve in the Agriculture Ministry. Former athlete and Cherangany Member of Parliament Wesley Korir, nominated to the Youth and Sports Ministry, Alfred Agoy, nominated to the Defence Docket, Benjamin Washiali, to the Roads Ministry, among others. Catherine Warogoro has also been proposed to the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Others are Rehema Jaldessa and Khatib Moshetani. It is, however, notable that once again, the list missed the gender ratio as men towered over women with 36 men against 14 women, representing 28%. The list has been forwarded to the National Assembly for the approval hearings by the respective parliamentary committees. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.